Hi all. Uh, my name is Manu Thomas and our project is real time violence alert system. So in today's world, violence can be seen in empty streets as well as in public places. And if it happens in an uh, in a deserted place, then there is no way to detect the violence let alone con- uh, alert the concerned authorities. And uh, nowadays CCTV cameras Uh, can be found in every nook and corner but still it lacks an automatic violence detection system as there can be a wide range of threats and violence in society and less manpower to monitor them violence detection can be challenging especially in the case of crowded scenes because of the rapid movement and overlapping there is no use in detecting violence if we can't use it to catch the culprit so an efficient alert system is needed to alert the concerned authorities in real time now we will be moving over to modules which will be taken over by point so coming to the modules uh, so this will be the four modules i'll be using in our project so these are the four modules namely the human detection violence detection image enhancement and the alert system there's a lot uh, going on in the back- background in between the four modules or, or how we can achieve these four modules so that will be the things i'll be discussing in the coming slide so yeah going to the next slide we have the methodologies or the methods that that uh, we have, that we'll be using to you know achieve those four modules successfully so one coming to the first methodology that is detecting humans in a video frame and the extraction of human human detected frames from each vi- from the videos so these two steps will be achieved by using the pre-trained model called the faster rcn and inception v2 coco model so why we have used this pre-trained model will be discussed by ben in the coming slides but for this these two methodologies we have used this pre-trained model namely the faster rcn and inception v2 coco model which del- delivers a decent accuracy so coming to the next methodology we have the recognize violent actions from each video frame that has been de- uh, extracted from the previous method or the previous uh, step step 2 so for this particular step we have used the will be using the mobile net v2 pre train model which according to one of the journal papers we have um, we have gone through uh, delivers a high or a really high amount of accuracy while detecting the violent actions from a particular video frame so that's why that's why we'll be using mobile net v2 which is a pre trained model for recognizing violent actions for step 3 coming to the step 4 um, the uh, we'll be enhancing the video frames in which the violent actions have been recognized and for this particular step we'll be using the blind deconvolutional algorithm which is a relatively new algorithm when compared to the rest of the algorithms uh, which are you know uh, which are kept for in image enhancement so basically this is a new algorithm which basically um, helps us to enhance an image where no particular data is known about an image which will be the case when we uh, use this particular project for in surveillance cameras especially so that will be step 4 step 5 will be the detecting of faces so whenever these uh, after this uh, video frames have been enhanced it will be easier to detect faces from these uh, enhanced video frames so for that particular um, step we will be using the yolo v2 algorithm which is a co- which is quite a popular algorithm actually which is the uoli look once algorithm which has been trained using the coco model for classifying a lot of uh, mainstream objects like water bottles water bottles faces etc so we will be using the yolo v2 algorithm for detecting the faces from each video frame and yeah uh, detecting of faces will be important because we need to uh, find out who have been involved in this particular violent uh, action and stuff okay so basically that will be five, fifth st- that will be the fifth step and coming to the last step or the sixth step which will be the sending of the alert sending alert to the concerned authority so basically we will be achieving this uh, particular step using certain python libraries like what what kit uh, which is a whatsapp uh, library for python using which we'll be able to send whatsapp messages directly using python uh, to the corresponding authority or the concerned authorities so basically uh, we'll be sending the uh, location the time the enhanced video frames the detected faces etc all in one message to the concerned authorities using python li- libraries okay so come that's the methodology so coming to the operating environment or the environment which we have used to um, do this project do this particular project so first of all we have used python which is quite uh, which is a quite popular uh, 
program programming language for uh, doing ml dl uh, machine learning and deep learning uh, stuff um, uh, so because of its uh, because of the high amount of packages that have that are already pre built in python namely tensorflow cv2 etc which we have used in our uh, project actually so python will be the programming language which we which will be using and coming to the uh, environment which we have used to run this uh, project is called the google collaboratory or it is it is uh, it is a web application provided by google where we can do uh, m- machine learning and deep learning projects using google's gpu or tpu or uh, what uh, tensor processing unit and the graphical processing unit uh, for such projects where a lot of computational power is required uh, and a lot of videos are to be uh, streamed actually or uh, so a lot of videos have to be processed actually we we can't be using the uh, mainstream gpus which are provided with our mainstream laptops okay so basically we'll be using google's gpu which provides us with a lot of computational power uh, in a free cost okay so basically th- these things will be free the google gpu so that's why we'll be using google collaboratory so yeah i next i call upon um, <coughs> peter to talk about the rest of the slides thank you hello everyone uh, today i will be giving a brief description about the, our architectural diagram so whenever there is a violent activity being taking place our surveillance camera will take the real time video input and is given as an input to our pre trained models so what this pre trained models do is that they will detect if there are any humans present in that video frame so if there are any humans are in a particular video frame we will be giving those frames as input to mobile net for violence recognition if in case if there are no humans in a particular video frame we are discarding that video frame and when if we detect humans and if there are there is no violent activity being taking place those frames will be also discarded so if a violence activity is being recognized we will obtain that particular frame and we will make use of a blind deconvolution convolutional algorithm or yolo v2 for image enhancement so after uh, this image enhancement process those particular video frames will be sent to an alert system and that alert system will send that particular video frame to a nearby police station with that video frame we will be making use of uh, we will be sending the time stamp and the position at which uh, the, that violent activity took place in real time so this is all about our architectural diagram next uh, i will be speaking about our use case diagram so use case diagram is mainly used for uh, conveying the particular functions and actions taking place in a particular system so uh, this in, in so in case if there are some people involved in a violent activity as we have seen in the particular uh, previous uh, architecture we will feed that real time video to this particular system and the next action is that we will detect humans so whenever we detect humans these other three functions that is extract frames violence detection image enhancement will be taking place in a sequential manner so these three processes should be uh, executed that is the reason why they are connected using the include method that means whenever humans are detected those frames will be extracted and if those frames contains uh, detects uh, any violent activity we will be send, we will be enhancing those frames so after that we will be giving we will be giving an alert to the nearby police station with that particular frame so this is all about our use case diagram the actors involved are the particular uh, people involved in that violent activity and the nearby police station thank you now coming to the results uh, as mentioned we tried Uh, some models uh, for <clears throat> human detection in the surveillance or camera videos um the first one was the faster rcnn inception v2 coco model 
uh in this it had a pretty good uh, accuracy uh, but the problem was it was not uh, that much uh, very speed but it did had a, a decent speed uh, it had a fair trade off between uh, speed and uh, accuracy so that was one model that we trained uh, that we uh, tested for human detection in the video uh, another model was ssg mobile net v1 copa model um but uh, this was a fast model uh, but the problem was it had only a uh, very uh, low accuracy in detecting the humans in the video frame uh, uh, that was the system of pilot v1 coco model uh, we were compared between <clears throat> three models and uh, we obtained the for, for the following conclusions the accuracy was the ssd mobile net v1 coco model had a very low accuracy uh, Uh, the faster asin inception v2 coca model had a bit more uh, high, um, uh, had much more uh, accuracy uh, and the uh, um, faster asin and nas model is another pre trained model uh, it, it 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 had uh, it also had high accuracy but the problem with nas model was uh, it is an extremely low model uh, extremely low in uh, in speed it, it was very slow model and uh, yeah, also it was not that much suitable in uh, so it was not that much suitable in running it in the uh, real time uh, in the real time scenario but it had a uh, high accuracy in detecting the humans in the uh, video frame uh, and also on comparing the speed of this models uh, the mobile net v1 coco model was very fast uh, and the uh, rcnn inception v2 coco model uh, was relatively uh, slow but it did had a decent uh speed so it could be used uh in an efficient manner because it was having a good accuracy also uh, but uh, but the uh, rcn and nas model uh, it was uh, much more slow in comparing the speed so it was not that much suitable to use in real time scenarios also uh so the um, these are the results that we obtained and these are the comparisons between the Uh, different pre-trained models in detecting the uh, humans in the video frame so uh, that's about our presentation of the first uh, of the project thank you so yeah this is the project that we have done this so far what we have done in the project so first of all we have used the google collaboratory as discussed earlier because we need a lot of computational power to do this particular project so yeah uh, coming to the uh, main things that we have used in this uh, project is the first of all the model or the pre trained model which we have used that is the faster rcn inception v2 coco model whose advantages of using have been discussed by ben in the ppt itself so yeah uh, faster rcn inception v2 coco model is the model that we have used in this particular project and then we have used certain libraries called uh, tensorflow op- open cv numpy etc and also yeah the google collaboratory uh, pa- uh, package for you know showing these images which we have used um, which we uh, you know for showing which all frames have been uh, detected with humans so basically yeah uh, we have given a sample video Uh, which is a 9 second video of people walking in a subway uh, f- uh, to check or to test whether the humans have been detected successfully so the output of this project is actually obtaining the frames in which the humans have been detected and also creating a bounding box over each human that have been detected in the video frames so yeah coming to the uh, output of the program so we have successfully uh, done this particular step that is the first step as promised by us uh, that will be done in the seventh semester by the end of some sem- sem- seventh semester actually so yeah do, you, using the faster rcn inception v2 coco model we have you uh, we have obtained a decent amount of accuracy uh, as you can see all the humans humans in this particular frame have been detected and you know uh, all the frames there are lot of frames that have that will be coming through a 9 second video too so yeah these are the amount of people that are walking in a subway and all these humans have been detected successfully by the uh, by this pre trained model so yeah all these humans have been detected successfully certain uh, humans like uh, those in the background those far away from the camera or those those which have been blocked by other humans have not been su- su- successfully detected 
so yeah that's the uh, meaning of you know free fair trade between uh, you know speed and accuracy so yeah Uh, some humans which have been blocked by other humans have not been detected successfully but as you can see others have been detected quite successfully by this particular pretrain model at a at at a decent speed too so yeah uh, a lot of frames are have been uh, obtained over here as you can see all these humans even in the background have been detected in some some of the frames which shows that this particular model has a decent amount of accuracy too which actually it has a high high amount of accuracy so that's why we use but this particular model too so it uh, it also uses only less speed to you know uh, do this particular step or you know detect humans in particular video frames which is required for you know real time operating systems right we, we will be using this particular project in surveillance camera where all these things will be happening in real time so we need a, we need a decent decent amount of accuracy and speed okay so that has been successfully obtained by this particular pre trained model so as you can see all these video frames have been detected successfully successfully and the next step will be to send these video frames uh, to another function called the violence detection function where uh, where each of these video frames will be checked whether uh, they contain violence related uh, re- violence related stuff or not so yeah the first step has been successfully done or the first module has been successfully done Uh, so yeah the first module is done now we'll be going to the second step in the coming semester so yeah that's that's our project for now as you can see there's a whole lot of uh, slides that are going going through in a 9 second video itself and as you can see all the all the humans have been successfully successfully detected to in this particular v- testing video case so yeah that's uh, what i what we have done in this particular uh, project so as, as i have told earlier we use tensorflow and open cv for uh you know and the pre trained model for uh, doing this particular step or particular human detection step so yeah that's all from uh, group number 11 actually so yeah thank you